Hi Leo, welcome to my channel Leo. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the Leo sign. Thank you so much Leo for supporting the channel. Thank you so much Leo for being here. Wow, you have the lover's card. In today's reading, let's look at your situation. Let's look at your focus. This is an open message for the Leo sign. So please, th please think about your manifestation, your situation. Uh, it could also a person. I'll connect with you. And let us see what is your guided message. What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? What can I get for um, the Leo sign? What is the message for the Leo sign, please? Okay, all right, okay. You have the Five of Wands. You have the Justice card, the Five of Wands, the Justice card. Wow, you have the High Priestess, okay. The Four of Swords is here. The Six of Pentacles. What your higher self would like you to prioritize is a Four of Wands. What's coming towards in the immediate future you have? Wow, this Knight of Pentacles is sexy. The connecting energy between you. This is you, sorry. So you and the Knight of Pentacles is the Nine of Wands. Okay, all right, let's start your reading. So in the past energy, you have a Five of Wands. I feel like this Five of Wands is a conflict, okay? You could be dealing with multiple people or multiple situations. I feel like the Five of Wands, it's a past energy where it's possible that there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of competitive energy, maybe power tripping, maybe ego. But the Five of Wands, it looks like it's the spark of the argument. Like the spark of the argument, the spark or the hype of the miscommunication or competitiveness, it doesn't feel like it's fresh or it's dim. So you could be entering a cycle where, because you've, you've got the justice card, okay? Um, and you also have the high priestess in here. So the next couple of weeks, you know, the following people you had... A miscommunication argument I feel like it's people it's not just one okay yeah it could be you know it could be it's a princess of wands I feel like the way you argue or miscommunication it's kind of petty for some of you guys yeah for some of you guys I'm really getting like especially you because you have the Libra card, so you're ready to give a chance to a miscommunication. Like, the way you look at this past energy is that this is a, mini, this is a miscommunication that I could have fixed. Like, you have so much, like the, 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 the justice card in here, it speaks to me that you're now looking into the miscommunication or misopportunity with full of wisdom. And you've seen the role you play into this mess or miscommunication. And with the Libra card, the balance of reset, sorry, the card, you know, the energy of reset and balance, I can see you giving it a go, you know, giving it a, giving it a chance. Like, let's reconnect. Let's patch things up. It's like, I could pick up like with a Libra card, like easy. Let's make it work then. So, um... And I feel like the other energies in here, it's more than one. They're also getting ready. So, like, it's a, it's a nudge, Leo, that because the intention that you put in the ethers, that when, like, it's a, you know, you're, in, you're, you're very powerful, especially have the high priestess in here, because the high priestess, it looks like they can feel that, you're ready and you can feel they're ready okay so there's some sort of it's multiple maybe it's more than one person it it, it could also be like a missed opportunity that you've lost it for technicality 
you know, do not be surprised if you will be able to manifest a missed opportunity back with the high priestess. Don't be surprised if you are able to manifest a person connected to a missed opportunity or something you're not prepared to let go, you know. Especially the high priestess, like, I'm not prepared to give up or let go. And all you did was to manifest, I'm ready now, I'm thinking of you, like, it's like an energetic pull. Me unconsciously, you are connecting, your radar, your psychic, Leo, is connecting towards them. And it's, man, it's drawing them. They're feeling it. It's, they're feeling your Libra energy. They're feeling a reset. They're feeling a more balanced connectivity to you. So it's you're, you're, you're being like you're drawn to connect with each other, you know, with the page of wands, the nine of, I've, I believe your higher self is somehow encouraging you. And there's also a lot of divine intervention in here with the high priestess. You're being looked after by somebody that, hey, you know, life is too short. Let's work things out, you know. Um, you you have a, you have, um, the neck, I mean, right now, I could feel that your telepathic um, psychic is very strong. So you are able to draw back something very important, something that you're not prepared to lose, okay? Um, there's so much harmony now. Yeah, you are able to manifest back an ace of pentacles, a missed opportunity. Could be money. Could also be like, let's start all over again. Let's talk further. You know, like let's spend time. Let's spend time to looking into it rather than fight and flight. There's so much of this that you don't want to let go. Yeah, I think this is nine and ten. This is a nine of swords and a ten of swords. There is a past situation connected to missed opportunities or miscommunication. It's kind of petty. When you think of it, it makes you feel sad. And then there is a lot of energetic force that I'm sad. I don't want to lose this. I, I want to give it a chance. Without you calling or texting them, you're actually drawing them back. And this is what's going to happen. Look at the, the high priestess. Your Wi-Fi signal, it's so strong in here so strong and um this is something to look forward <clears throat> with the high priest like keep it keep it going like um like this is a reading where it's telling you your your man your your manifestation is coming to light prepare you know because your something is open like your gates of forgiveness and second chances is open you know, with the, with the high priestess in here. Um, so, you have a four of swords in terms of situation and focus. You have the four of swords and the six of pentacles. The six of pentacles is somehow, the six of pentacles is somehow connected to, it's, it's, it's a similar energy. It looks like for some of you guys, I'm kind of picking up in here that um, you might have forgotten to dare yourself, Leo, you know, with the focus, the four of swords, um, you're taking a break, you know, something, there's something around your energy connected to creativity and passion that you're probably taking a break, taking a vacation, resting, but you have so many ideas, you know, like if you look at the four of swords, I'm taking a break. Um, you're taking a break, you're slowing down, there's a passive energy in you. However, your creative spirit is in the vault. Look at that. You have so many creative ideas, you have so many plans that you have not materialized it because you're taking a break, you're slowing down. <clears throat> like there's a slow motion. You could be, you know, it's possible that it's possible that your creative ideas, your plan, whatever you want to transform, whatever it is that you want to transform, creative thing, ambition, aspiration, that you would like to transform and make it into reality. It might need money. It might need time. 
it might need better planning. And the four of wands in here, keep your passion alive. So your higher self, your higher self, Leo, is like your higher self will keep reminding you of the many creative ideas that your spirit would like you to co-create with them. And you might be needing money, time. You might be needing to take a break before you launch this travel adventure, this idea, this plan, this aspiration, whatever it is, keep it, keep your passion. Okay, the four of wands, you know, because the center is the six of pentacles. There are some things in life that no matter how creatively passionate and ready you are, you might need a great plan. And I believe this is this could be where you're sitting, is that four of wands, keep your passion alive like keep keep your passion and interest breathing because the universe is waiting for you to co-create with them one of your amazing ideas or plan the universe is waiting okay it's like a it's like a little adventure that whenever you're ready like whenever you're ready whenever you're ready take the lead and venture into unknown territories like this is you know, like this is, um, this is like your soul, like your, your soul is resting because your next thing is something that you would venture into an unknown territory, something big. Like this is a reading where I'm going to take a break because I'm going to do something big, something unknown. And the four of wands, if that's the case keep your passion and have a great plan because we're waiting to co-create with you the universe excited to co-create it with you okay so that is you and your passion now in the immediate future okay what else is coming towards you you have a knight of pentacles this is a sexy person I don't know this is a person this is a person they're very athletic it could be a new person it could be an existing person but this is a person they're sexy athletic they're artistic there's something unique about this person oh this could happen very soon with the two of wands um this knight of pentacles you find them sexy athletic not just physically, probably athletic, you know. Like there's something sexy, mysterious, and really enticing about this Knight of Pentacles. I guess the reason why you feel this way, it's because you had an Eight of Swords moment with them, where there's so much of, you find this person, you find them mysterious, that you want to explore further what they can offer you in your match. Or your combination so they're coming very like like the energy that they're giving you is i'm interested mysterious and sexy so they're coming towards you now you are the judgment card you the connecting energy between you and this person is a nine of wands you are the judgment card wow in this reading in this reading, you're prepared for everything with this person. I feel like the judgment card next to the nine of wands, you're going to break their wall. <laughs> it could be like a person that, you know what? Once you connect with me, once you initiate it, I will break your wall. Like you will make them feel comfortable with you. Like you will do everything in your power to get to know this person, their offer and their mysteriousness. Because I could feel that this person or situation, they're the one who's going to reach out. And you've got this, you have always have this interest towards them that if you initiate again, if you invite me, if you reconnect with me, if you make a move, I'm going to really break your wall. It's like they just need to initiate it and you're going to do all of the follow-up. I don't know, maybe this person is introvert, mysterious. You'll be the one to extrovert them. Like you're going to extract them in here. Because the judgment card, maybe this is the second time, there's two X in here. So 
I'm really getting a strong energy coming from you, Leo, where your mind get out of that wall you initiated you wanted me let's get out of that wall let's make this happen like this is you're more like they initiated it and you are going to finish the work that's how you felt towards them it is as if you were anticipating this like it's a feeling of um it's a feeling that it's it's such a like you had this coming oh yes you're very ready Ooh, there's a devil card in here this is wow this is sexy time like oh my this is exciting i would say you're just waiting for them to re like this is a this is a person or situation where i'm just waiting for you to reach out or call me or text me the rest i'm gonna purse you're gonna pursue them you this is a reading where I don't want to miss the opportunity again. I'm going to pursue you and charm you and flirt with you and really show you the devil. You're going to seduce this offer. And I see you getting it. Okay, like it's time. Like the judgment card, it's time for the lion to play the devil. Look at that. So this person is going to be shocked because they expect that de they would see a lion in a devil suit so this is crazy but it's beautiful it's good maybe this is love maybe this is business but it's it's very sexy okay it's it's some it's a showstopper i would say leo <clears throat> so this is what i have for you <clears throat> thank you so much leo for supporting the channel thank you so much guys for being here if you would like to further connect with me click the bell click subscribe i will see you soon you have a great day